Hi Gemini, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and focus on you singles, Gemini singles, who are currently dealing with a new person. So this means that it's someone who you've never been romantically involved with before, okay? They're, new, they're a new person to you. Alright, so what we're going to be asking is, how does this new person feel about the relationship? And how does this new person feel about you, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. And just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get started. Spirit, please show me. Um, how does this new person feel about the relationship with Gemini? Okay, let's get two shuffles, please. We have one and one more. And two. All right, Gemini, first card we have here is the Tower Upright. The Tower Upright. Okay, very dramatic, very intense energy there. Let's see what else we got. Might be dealing with a Scorpio for some of you. Next card is the Queen of Swords upright. Okay, what else? The Three of Cups in reverse. I feel like this person is making, is trying to make a decision here, a very important and big decision. What else? Yeah, and we have the Justice card in reverse. You might, you might be connecting with a Libra, okay, for some of you. Or um, also Aquarius or um, another Gemini. All right, Gemini, so in terms of this person's feelings um, for the relationship, <clears throat> I almost feel like this person is at odds, you know, they're, I feel like they're conflicted here. Yeah, it's like part of them, it's like part of them is thinking about cutting this relationship out here with the Queen of Swords or with the justice card also um, but they're not completely convinced yet that that that, that would be the right decision to make <clears throat> i feel like this tower card represents their their own internal struggle they, there might be a third party situation here there might be a third party involved um, this person might be um, involved with somebody else um, on the side apart from you and it's almost like they know that they have to you know they know that they have to get rid of one person they, you know there can't be three pic three people in the picture so it's about them ha going through the struggle here of deciding you know what are they going to do who do they want to be with now I see them using a lot of um, of their mind, like they're thinking with their mind, they're not thinking with their heart. They're, they're trying to decide according to what is the most logical decision, okay? So I don't feel like this person is all that emotionally invested in you, Gemini, okay? Yeah, I feel like their their attention is divided and their their intentions are maybe not all that pure, you know? That's honestly what I'm getting. It's almost like they're they're looking more they're more interested in in their convenience, in in what is most convenient for them. 
and it's like they're basing their decision off of that but I do feel like this person is thinking about cutting you out of of the picture you know although again I feel like they haven't completely decided yet they're still like you know struggling here um, to to figure out what they want to do okay so how does this person see you Gemini let's see that how does this new person see Gemini spirit please show me how does this new person see Gemini please Okay, that's one, and let's get two. And two. Our Gemini first card we have here is the King of Cups in reverse. The Three of Wands upright. The nine of wands upright they see you as someone who is being a little bit closed off emotionally they also might see you as someone who lives far away from them this card can sometimes represent long distance travel they see you as someone who's guarded here with the nine of wands what else And we have here the Eight of Wands upright. They see you as someone who, they see you as someone who's like in love with them. I mean, that might not be true, but this is how they see you. They feel like, oh, Gemini, Gemini wants to be all over me. Gemini is in love with me. Like, like Gemini is hooked on me, like. Like, they know, they see you as someone who's being a little closed off and reserved and kind of guarded. But they know that inside, they know that you're crazy over them. Or you're crazy for them. Again, that might not be true. That's, that might be their ego talking. Because I do feel like this person definitely has an ego. Um, especially with, like I said, I feel like they are juggling more than one person. And it's like... It's almost like they're trying to decide who, who is worthy to be with them, you know? I think they, they have a big ego and they put themselves on a pedestal. And they feel like, you know, being with them would be a privilege or an honor to the, to the other person who's, who's with them. So I do feel like this person is a little bit, you know full of themselves to be honest and so they see you as someone who's closed off and reserved but they know they see you as someone who's crazy for them and who um is completely you know in love with them and would do anything for them and would jump off a cliff for them you know <laughs> yeah all right, so let's see what are this person's intentions with you. They also see you as someone who's waiting for them with the three of wands. Who's waiting for, for their decision or for their action. For them to, make, to take an action. So they know you're waiting for them. And they know that you're like obsessed with them. They feel like you're obsessed with them. All right, so what are this person's intentions with you? Let's see that. Spirit, okay, what are this new person's intentions with Gemini? What is it that they want from Gemini? All 
and we have here the page of rods upright they're going to they're going to keep talking to you they're going to keep communicating with you nine of swords upright yeah it's almost like they they want to keep you hooked to them they don't want to lose you what else knight of pentacles upright they they want to they want to still be in your life they want to still be a presence in your life what else ten of pentacles upright <laughs> i feel like you're dealing with a cheater to be honest the gemini yeah Honestly, that's what, what it feels like to me. I feel like, you know, they could they see you as possibly marrying you here with the Ten of Pentacles or having a commitment with you, um, a stable commitment, but it's almost like they might be seeing you as the person who's, like, safe for them to be with, you know, who's secure who gives them security and safety. Um, but again, I feel like this person um, with the Three of Cups, like, you know, emotionally, I don't feel like they are emotionally invested in you. And I feel like they're, like I said, they're looking more for their convenience. They're looking out more for their convenience um, and their practical security. Um, but I see, I see them still maintaining connections outside of of this commitment out of this outside of this relationship all right gemini so just uh take it if that resonates but that's what i see okay all right so let me know if this resonated if it did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you in my next video gemini take care